Ladies and gentlemen, today we're going to be embarking on a special mission. My gaming setup is currently under construction, which I can't show you guys just yet because that's a whole different video. You see, the problem here is that Modern Warfare 2 comes out tomorrow and I don't have a place to play it. And I need to relive the memories of the old Modern Warfare 2. So for today's challenge, I'm going to be building a new setup, but I'm going to be building it in my closet. Now the goal of this project is to not have to buy any new stuff. I recently just moved out of my apartment and into a house and built an entirely new setup, which means some of the stuff that I use in my old setup is just laying around the house. Just like this desk. So let's throw this in the closet. Ooh, this is heavy. Okay, we have the tabletop here. Now for the legs. I'm already tired. Okay, we got the desk in. It doesn't look too bad, actually. We're clearing some space by just pushing the shirts and hoodies around. So I think the next step is to get the PC and monitor on here. Okay, so this is my closet full of stuff that I have yet to unpack. And I think what we're gonna do is use my old PC. That's actually my old PC before I built my new one. It's perfectly fine, but we may as well put it to use. And if you're wondering, this PC has a 2070, an Intel i9, and 64 gigs of RAM. It's a pretty nice build, so I couldn't just let this collect dust. So we have the PC here, but it's kind of getting blocked, and that's not gonna be good for the airflow. So we're just gonna reorganize the closet a little bit All right, that looks pretty good everything's starting to come together now. We just need to get the monitor on here Let's just throw this on here I'm not gonna lie, I think the 27 inch monitor is kind of lame I mean we're building a setup in a closet So I think we need to do something a little bit crazier and I actually just had the perfect monitor in mind <laughs> All right, we got the Samsung Odyssey Arc. Now, technically, I didn't buy this. Micro Center actually sent this out for free. So big shout out to Micro Center. I think this is the perfect monitor to make the most ridiculous looking setup. And I think it's safe to say this monitor is absolutely ridiculous. This thing is huge. That's what she said. Uh, all right. Having it on carpet is so much easier. Okay. Why am I doing this? It's all in the legs. And unlike a 70 year old man, I finally got it up. I feel like the desk is gonna snap in half. This thing is so heavy. Oh my gosh. I'm genuinely terrified, like, I really feel like this is gonna fall over. Look at that. We scratched up the desk getting it on there. I could probably buy a white Sharpie and color that in, but look at this, man. This is, this is ridiculous. Okay, so we have the arc set up, and I actually ended up routing these cables and plugging them into extension cords, which go all the way behind this cabinet, and routing all the way to my bedroom into this outlet. Now I know it's not good to route things like your PC into an extension cord like that, but at the end of the day, this is for science, so let's just see if this turns on. Start with the PC. Uh-oh, my computer wasn't turning on. But that's because I didn't have the power supply on. Bruh. See? Oh, we are in business. And now for the arc. Oh, let's go! It works! This is so dumb. <laughs> All right, so the PC and the monitor work. This is the stupidest thing I've ever done. So now we just need to get the mouse, the keyboard, and of course, we need to decorate this whole place and deck this thing out because it's not a gaming setup without a little bit of RGB. Okay, next on the list is lighting. And lucky for me, I have this whole box of leftover lights. These are empty. Here we have 21 nanoleaf panels and a Gobi light rope. So let's go get this set up inside of the closet. Alrighty. Okay, so I think we're just gonna set these up along the top of the shelves here. I'm not really sure where to put the light rope just yet. I'm sure I'll figure it out after I get these set up. I started placing the nanoleaves on the wall and everything was going smoothly until I realized this. I should have started at this corner because I have no idea if that's even gonna line up with the corner properly. 
Oh man. Okay. That yeah, I feel so stupid. I don't even think we need to wrap the corner anyway. We could just go up. Dude, ah, oh, I'm such an idiot. I looked at the time and we're getting closer and closer to the release of Modern Warfare 2. So I had to speed things up, finishing up the nano leafs and adding the Govi light rope to the back wall. But after I got that done and some minor decorations, the closet went from looking like this to this. Okay, and here is the final setup. I mean, I'm not gonna lie, it doesn't look the best, but I did what I could with the things that I had. So, here it is. We have a laptop and a small monitor set up here. Usually I'll just put Spotify on here, but the music doesn't come out of the monitor speaker. I actually have this Sonos lamp that I got from Ikea, and the base of it is actually a speaker, so that's pretty cool. We have 21 nano leaf panels up above on the shelf, and our Gobi light rope above as well. And then the centerpiece of this whole setup is the Sam Samsung Odyssey Arc. Right now we have it horizontally, but we could turn it to be vertical whenever we want. Then we have my old PC setup right here. High ground keyboard, LTC mosh pit. This is so sick, look at that. Now we were one hour late to the COD release, but better late than never. I think it's safe to say though that this setup is ready for some games, so let's give it a shot. This is actually wild. Look at this. <laughs> this is such a crazy view. I'm playing COD in a closet right now. Let me know where I should build another setup. I'm gonna go play COD.